What's up guys and welcome back to another G35 video. In today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It's not going to be an install, it's going to be more on the lines of racing. I've always wondered how it would be like to race my G35 against a newer Infinity. Obviously we have the Q60, there's a Q50, there's a G37 and the 370Z. Those are the more performance based cars that Infinity has. So today we're going to be racing a Q50 and this is a 3.0. It's not the Red Sport but this will be a more fair race if we can call it that so i'm curious as to how mine will perform obviously mine isn't tuned for the people who know but i'm gonna go ahead and show you the q50 right now and then we have the owner with the q50 as well so we'll go ahead and introduce him so yeah let's go ahead and do that so his face is going to be blurred uh, so you're <laughs> only going to get his social security and his id but that's it <laughs> go ahead let us know what you have uh what type of q50 it is and everything i have a year with it it's a q50 2017 it's stock i haven't done anything to it bone stock nothing yeah, to nothing. it at all like the way I bought it, no intakes no nothing, no nothing. Like, How, like you could look at it it's everything stock the way it's not gonna have any mods on it so this is basically as stock as you can have the q50 um, and then obviously the G35 is, it's got a couple bolt-on mods, but nothing too crazy. And it's also not tuned. So once we get it tuned, we'll do reruns with him again. And then we'll see what the difference is. So that way we actually have a comparison. Again, bone stock Q50, it's the 3.0. It's the non-Red Sport, right? Yes, non-Red Sport. I actually drove this car yesterday and I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty quick. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be faster than the G35. It felt like the boost kicks in really hard and I'm pretty sure it's gonna beat it but we're gonna go ahead and find out I haven't seen too many videos on YouTube of a Q50 and G35 racing so it's gonna be pretty cool for the people that don't know about my G35 I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood as well and we'll talk about the G35 what I've done to it so for the people who don't know this is my G35 it's a 2004 G35 so that means it's not the rev up so this is the slowest G35 you can buy <laughs> but I do have a couple mods on it so we'll just go with the performance mods and if I miss any I'll put it on screen we have a a pop filter right here we have a nismo intake i did heat wrap we have a simplistic garage 75 millimeter throttle body we have the plenum spacer from motordyne i have an oil catch can uh, aluminum radiator just a couple things to help with the track since this is made for the track not really for racing or anything i still want to get test pipes and i am planning on getting a tune so this is a really good way to find out how big of a difference those two mods will make so once it's tuned and i have all the mods that i'm I'm going to be doing to it then we can do reruns with the q50 and see what big of a difference that is whether i would still win or lose by how much will be the biggest difference that's gonna basically wrap up the overview of both of the cars so you guys know the mods i'm pretty sure i'm gonna end up losing i'm still curious as to how bad it's gonna be like i said i drove the car yesterday and it did feel pretty fast in comparison to the g35 so i am curious but i'm definitely excited for you guys to have some content and it's a little bit different from what i usually make so it is going to be fun to go ahead and race the g35 for a little bit so like i said the g35 is a 2004 and because it is a 2004 the transmission isn't the CD09 like it is in the 05s and up. This transmission is pretty beat up already. When I bought the car, it was already kind of trashed. So the synchros are pretty shot and it is a little bit hard to get into gear. I already have a CD09 lined up. I just need to buy the clutch and then go ahead and replace it. I don't really care about destroying this transmission per se, but it is really hard to put into gear. So when I'm trying to bang gears, it is hard to do that. It's not an excuse. Just letting you guys know that it isn't going to be the fastest shift thing that you can have another thing i forgot to mention is the rear end of the g35 is basically a 370z rear end since i do have a nismo differential so it has a 3.9 final drive i also have the 370z axles and wheel bearings if you guys want to watch the video where i install it go ahead and click up top right here i will have it for you guys so you guys can watch that hope you guys are excited for this this is definitely going to be a fun one to make hopefully we win Honestly, Q50 is faster. I'm just gonna say it right now, but uh, let's see what goes on. Just can't. 
catches up so fast. I don't know if you guys can hear, but you hear the turbo spool up, and then once you hear it, that's when he's gone. That's gonna be the same engine that's on the new Z, so damn, that's honestly pretty impressive. Even at 300 horsepower, it's not even the Red Sport, and it, it definitely pulls hard. I'm definitely curious, once I get a tune, how big of a difference that will make, but yeah, that was, I got, I got handed the good old Gaparuni, huh? Damn, so there you guys have it. He's on the phone still. He was racing me the whole time on the phone, so I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest. The rev up would be faster, but I think it would still get taken out by the Q50. But yeah, that just goes to show that even with the extra weight, even with it having similar power, it still outperforms the G35. I saw you on the phone, and I'm like, <laughs> Dude, he beat me with one hand. He was on a whole business call when he beat me. <laughs> <laughs> dude, 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 as soon as I hear the turbos, I'm like, oh, here yeah. we go. For and I just reason, see you pass. I can never hear my turbos. Yeah, oh, no, you I can think, hear them. Sometimes I think that they don't even work. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? run was third gear and I feel like that was the best one that I had where I kept up for a lot longer than before 40 rolls I was doing second gear and then this one we did I think 60 and we did third gear or I did third gear and I felt like that was the one where I kept up the most obviously he still beat me obviously my car is not gonna be faster than his that gear was a lot better than uh, it was before all right so that's gonna be all for this video that was the runs with the Q50 thank you to my buddy Luis for coming out and racing me giving me the gas Applebee's. Now I'm going to have to cry at night when I'm editing this. <laughs> no, this was really fun. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Basically, just a little test run on how, you know, a G35 would compare to a Q50. Obviously, there's a lot of years in between that, and this is, a you know, an older car, but it's still really fun to, you know, be able to run a newer Infiniti and see what the outcome is. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Plenty of G35 content and potentially more Q50 content in the future. Leave a like if you did enjoy this leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought you guys are gonna say my driver mod was uh, something I need to improve on and I definitely agree but with all that being said thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video peace